Welcome back. In the last video, I talked about the 10 things I think you need to open your first coffee shop. In this video, I'm talking about the most important equipment you need to open your first coffee shop. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so first up, I'm just gonna give you a little tour of the shop. As you can see, we're closed, so I've brought the sign in. You'll see we have a fridge, a retail shelf with a bunch of independent brands. We order here, so this closes and folds down. We've got a pastry shelf here. Once you've ordered, you're gonna have your coffee made here and the collection point just on the side here. You've also got where you can put your lids on, sugars, all that sort of stuff. We've got a small seating area here. So we've got six seats at the window. It's great for people watching. We didn't wanna to have too many seats when we first opened. So we actually built this room, which is an office. So you'll see that it's got electric drum kit in here right now uh, and a computer. So I do some work in here. We may knock that wall through one day so that you can sit inside. Also, as we walk through, this is all the area behind. I'll go into the equipment more shortly. Then we have a storage area. We've got a sink, we've got a bathroom, we've got a sink in there as well and then through to another fridge. So yeah, that's just a quick tour. And then this is Tulsa Hill High Street. So this is where we're based. Um, and you can see it's actually a really busy high street. We're closed now because no one really buys coffee after 5 p.m., which is the time it is here at the moment. We've also got our art wall. Thought I'd show you that. These are local artists. We try and keep things either local or independent. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so out of everything here, I'm now going to go through what are the most essential pieces of equipment to open your own coffee shop. And I'm just going to do it as I walk around. So number one, this is a commercial drinks fridge. This is about £600 we paid, used. It came with a two year warranty. Now, when we took this shop on, it actually did come with a fridge and we used it for a bit and it shorted out our electrics, which meant we actually had a bill that was sky high. So if you buy cheap, you tend to buy twice. In our case, get it free and we pay three times as much for an energy bill. So really recommend just getting high quality items, especially if they're customer facing. Um, and in this case, yeah, I can't remember the brand. It might be, oh, it says it there, Tef Cold. And it was about 600 pounds. You can get one of those all day long. This isn't essential. This is just nice to have. So as we come through, I'm gonna take you to the star of the show and what makes us our money. This is a Linear PB Lamar Zocco espresso machine. So this is considered like the workhorse of espresso machines. This is like the Mercedes you see that go through the Sahara Desert and never break. Now this will need servicing throughout its lifetime, but actually it's really reliable. Most baristas know how to use it, so it'll be easy when it comes to training and hiring. It's not complex, so it's not gonna have loads of electronic gizmos that are gonna break, but it's actually really consistent, does a great job at pouring an excellent shot. Now this is a two group, so this means you can pour two coffees at the same time, and you'll see here you've got the two group heads, so this is where you put your, this is where you grind your coffee into, and then it pulls the shots, and then you've got two ones, and these are controlled here for your frothing. So one of these will set you back about 10 grand if you were to buy it new, um, you can buy them used for much cheaper and there's a lot of coffee shops, you know, that, that maybe are going out of business uh, or are just closing down who will give you a great deal on one of these. We actually lease this and we lease this alongside our Mythos One grinder. Again, it's a fairly bare bones grinder, but it does everything we need. We can count how many seconds we want the shot to be pulled for. We can choose the grind size and that's about as much as we need for now. Um, you can get much more complex ones that will cost a fortune and it will weigh out each shot for you. But we can weigh our own shots out because we have a scale right there. So this comes with this as part of a lease from our, uh, from our coffee supplier. So there's different ways you can finance. You can either buy it in cash, you can either finance it or you can lease it. Now, the good thing about leasing it, you don't really need a credit history. You just lease it from your coffee supplier. If you were to ever, I say, default on payments, they can just take it back. So it's a great way to uh, obtain expensive coffee equipment for relatively cheap. I reckon you're looking at between two to 500 pounds a month for different combos of grinders and espresso machines. You can go really expensive with some espresso machines, but if you're starting your first coffee shop, why do that? What's the point in crazy expensive ones. And a two group is probably all you'll need if you're opening a small local coffee shop. 
you're probably not watching this video if you're opening a coffee shop on Oxford Street, it's probably your fifth one and you know exactly what you're doing. Same with the Mythos one, there's other grinders out there, they're not complex, there's plenty to choose from and whoever you're getting your machines from will maybe have different variations but Mythos one, I can recommend it, it's worked perfectly for us throughout this whole time. Moving on to another essential, this is a pitcher rinser. So a pitcher rinser is exactly that. It rinses your pitchers um, after you froth them in the milk frother. So you're gonna really need this because you need to use it every single time after you've frothed your milk. Um, you can't really get away with just using a sink because everything's so fast and if you're in rush hour, you've got a really busy time that you're gonna need to use that pitcher rinser. This is probably about 100 quid and we just cut it out of our bar uh, and we just sealed it with silicon around the edge and it needs to be plumbed in. This also needs to be plumbed in and we have plumbing down there with a macerator. Now, that's not an essential for you for a macerator. Cost us about 400 quid, um, but you might actually have waste pipe that this could go straight into. Our macerator deals with our waste and then we have a water supply that goes in. So I can talk about um, things like plumbing and electrics in more detail in another video, but these are just essential bits of equipment. You're gonna have different details when it comes to electrics and plumbing and building and all that sort of stuff. Now, if we look down, we've got another fridge. So you can see here that there's a commercial fridge there, but here we've just got a domestic fridge and this is purely for milk. So you can see that we just store milk in there. As soon as we run out of one bottle and we throw it away, we just get the next one out, we place it here. Um, this wasn't really expensive. I think we actually bought this on finance from Very and with a fridge freezer, which I'll show you in a second, um, but it was probably a couple hundred quid. Um, it's better to get a commercial one because it's more consistent in how it keeps your drinks cold throughout the fridge. Like this will keep it colder at the back and in the doors, but in the middle, not so much. However, we buy milk every single day, so our milk doesn't go off. If you've got milk that's been stored for a long time, it's a bit different because you're gonna need a better fridge than this. Um, but with us, because we're keeping it for one to two days each time we buy milk, the domestic fridge is fine. Then when we store things, we just store our milk, uh, our alternative milk down here. We store our coffee down here, but storage is really essential. You, you, you need the storage. So make sure you factor that in uh, when you're opening your own place. You can see here, all these cups are still sealed in their plastic, their compostable cups. And then we put ones that are ready just up on here. Moving to another essential piece of equipment. This is our boiler. So this is a Marco Eco boiler. This is also plumbed into the electrics and the water. Now we use this for uh, Americanos and we use this for cups of tea. Now the Lamo Zocco can actually pour hot water, but this is way better, way more consistent. And we use this as well to boil water for when we're uh, cleaning the floor for the mops, all that sort of stuff. So it's easy, simple, versatile, and an essential. I think this cost us between four and 600 pounds. We got it from our coffee supplier, but we actually paid uh, in full cash for this one, uh, I believe. Okay, turning around, more storage. Things are a little bit messy, but they're very easy to tidy up. Um, we have another grinder. So I would actually say this is an essential when you're opening your own coffee shop. Now we pay for this monthly as part of our lease deal with the other grinder and the La Marzocco. Um, but this is an EK43 and it's a bit more archaic as you can see like in its functionality. It's very simple. You just have a dial uh, that chooses the grind size. You put your coffee in here and it grinds into the cup or the bag or whatever you put there. We put our, so customers, for example, will buy a retail bag off us and might want it ground. So we'll grind it for whatever they choose. So you've got cafetiere, mocha pot, espresso, all these kind of things. So you stick your coffee in there, you grind it, you hand it to the customer. It means you're not disturbing anyone at the espresso machine or this grinder. It means you don't have to fill this with different coffee and empty the coffee out of it. Um, and it's just really versatile. And it means that we can also use it for our Marco batch boiler. We got this free from our coffee supplier. So these are the kind of things you can get if you build a good relationship with suppliers. Because we pay monthly for all the coffee, uh, kilos and kilos and kilos of it, and then also for the equipment, they give us this for free. Now, there is a container here, and you fill this with water, you grind the coffee, you stick something in here, and then it drips through into a big container, and it means you can batch brew different types of coffee. So we always have a guest filter on, so you'll see here that we have a guest filter on. Um, this is our main supplier, this is our guest. So we'll stick that into the filter 
and that means we have a bit of variation, something different, something light and fruity to contrast our sort of more dark and chocolatey espresso. So I would consider this essential and it's not expensive. You might even get it for free. If it's not free, it's gonna be probably 10, 20 pound a month if you lease it, probably a couple hundred quid if you buy it. So nothing crazy. One of these, I'm not sure how much they cost to buy, probably a few hundred pounds, probably like 600 quid, not 100% sure, but I'm sure you can get a good used one of these. This is a toasty maker that we never used, but we bought this used for 200 pounds. We couldn't use it and I wouldn't say it's an essential, but if you're making toasties, obviously it is. Another essential, this is our fridge freezer. So we do iced coffees and we did buy an ice machine, but it wasn't great. So we just keep ice in these and we top it up whenever we need it. So in summer, we'll be topping it up probably every day. And then in here, we keep some of our items that stay on the shelves longer or staff food. So if, st if we've got waste, we give it to staff. Um, and then we've got some other items in there that are refrigerator, uh, a bowl, um, and then that's my lunch. Anyway, really recommend having a spare or backup fridge freezer. Honestly, that's it when it comes to essential equipment you need. The most important thing now is once you've tallied up that equipment, now you need to find out all the prices for it, which I've sort of alluded to, but also you gotta figure out your electrics, where they are, where you can place them in your coffee shop once you've got the premises. But when it comes to bare bones coffee shop, that's literally all you need. And then all the other stuff is like cherry on top. So you can start choosing nice shelves for your baked, baked items. These are just industrial grade shelving that we stained to make it look a bit nicer. Loads of ways that you can sort of cut costs to have your own coffee shop. Um, but yeah. And I would say this is essential, but it's a bin. It's a bin and uh, a place that people can put their cups and lids and all that sort of stuff. So no, overall essential equipment. Let's go through it quickly. Fridge, espresso machine, pitch rinser, grinder one, grinder two, batch boiler, water boiler, fridge, and a fridge in the back. That's literally all you need to open your first coffee shop. Everything else is a formality, it's planning, it's all the other important stuff you're gonna have to deal with yourself. But for now, that is it. Now that was a whistle-stop tour on our shop and the equipment that we had in order to open it for the first time. Now, yours might vary, but I think these are the bare bones of items you need to open your first coffee shop. Now feel free to leave a comment with any questions in the comments below. Um, I'll try and write some things in the description that might be useful. But yeah, I mean, if you found that helpful, give it a like and have a good one. See you later.